It's possible things will be a little quieter this week and with the invaders of Brood 10. Reporter Raven Richard shows us what's behind the short break from the infamous cicada buzz. Right now I have my decibel meter out. It's just a simple app I downloaded on my phone and the cicada sound isn't as loud as it usually is on this cloudy, kind of rainy, kind of sunny day. Well, it's usually around the 90 decibel mark. So why is that? Turns out that's a question the cicada expert Dr. Gene Kritsky had too. So like any researcher, he did some searching. I've had the opportunity over the last uh, week because of the intermittent rain that we've had in the last 24 hours even to watch them close up. The result? They're, they're so seeing the decline, but then as it started to sprinkle, they walked to the underside of the leaves. And so you had all these leaves that at one time they were on top of singing away. They're now underneath them. Hmm. using essentially as, as natural umbrellas. Since they're hiding from the rain, they're not mating, which also means they're not buzzing. I knew they did probably something like that. They hunkered down, but I didn't realize that they would actually move to the other side. What about the cicadas we see landing on the ground? What happens to them in the rain? And the other thing that the cicadas have is a very interesting uh, structure to their wings. It allows them to shed water. And there's a lot of people looking at how to adapt the adaptations of cicada wings to things like rain gear because it wouldn't get soaked and wet, it would actually shed the water and be lightweight. Dr. Kritsky says, while we might see rain for a few more days, it won't slow down the overall mating process. Because once uh, the sun comes out and it stops raining for a few hours, even today, they'll start seeing again and mating will continue. He says we're at the midpoint of the emergence, says the cicadas prepare for their return in 2038. In Cincinnati, Raven Richard, WCPL 9 News. <laughs>